We've all seen these guys around school, the yo-yo crew. I'm Henry, and I like to yo-yo. I'm Hans Toggin, and I'm a yo-yoer. Hi, my name's Carter Baker. They each have their own story to tell about their interest of the yo-yo. I started in 2015, in like November, I think, and I was about 14. I started out with him not letting me use his yo-yo, so I bought my own. My profession, it'd be cool, but probably probably not my main profession, just if I go to competitions, get a few dollars, you know. It, it's just a fun thing to do. I, it, It's just like a little hobby, but it's fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to a competition for it, though. Yo-yoing hasn't been as easy as walking the dog. These guys have put a lot of time and practice in order to accomplish the tricks they're most proud of. Plastic whip. Here, and you take your finger, and you go like that. I did do a huge combo of seven tricks. That's all I did. This is Kaikea Cavalero covering the students of Eagle Valley. Back to you at the studio. That was a pretty cool yo-yo crew. Now, everyone knows that Gypsum has a library, but not a whole lot of people know about how cool it can be. Our reporter, Andy, went to the library for more information. Hi, I'm Andres Hernandez, and right now I'm inside of the Gypsum Library's teen room. In here, you have many activities which you can do, or simply have a place to hang out in. I'm the teen library for the Eagle Valley Library District. I am responsible for purchasing new books for the Eagle Avon and Gypsum branches, as well as coordinating programming between all three branches for teens. We have reading buddies where a group of teens will read to a group of first through third graders in order to encourage love of reading. Uh, we have regular video game tournaments, pretty regular board games, pen and paper role playing games, making sure the teen place is a, the teen room is a safe friendly open environment for teens. Next, we have a quick spring sports update. This weekend, girls soccer has a game at Delta. Good luck, girls! Boys baseball is going all the way to Montrose for the tournament, and the track team is heading to Palisade. So if you find yourself in either Delta, Montrose, or Palisade, go support our Devils. So, Ever, what did you get on your last English vocab test? For our next piece today, we've got two of our reporters in the Word of the Week. The Word of the Week is near to well Do you know what near to well means? No. Who doesn't? Mm -hmm. It means to love and live happily. Near to well 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 I don't know what near to well is. What is near to well? Near to well, a noun, a lazy and worthless person. And you can be so irresponsible sometimes. I'm irresponsible. You're the biggest meter all I've ever met. Near do well. Now back to you at the studio. Well, wasn't that educational? Now on to our next story. Um, here's Ever with the weather. Thanks, Claire. This is Ever with the weather. The weather is dramatically different from last episode. With the weather going from snowy to sweaty, people are questioning when is the right time to change your tires. Uh, when do you think it's the appropriate time to change the tires? From winter to summer. 
I would have to uh, ask my expert real fast, Mr. Brandt. Brandt, what do you suggest? Uh, um, well, during the winter, you can tell they're bald because you'll be slipping and sliding. During the summer, I don't think it's as necessary. Uh, when they're, you see, like, it's like, what's it called? It's bald? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> as you can see, not everyone knows when to change your tire. So we went to someone with more, with higher knowledge. Yeah, I know a little bit about cars, not very much. My specialty is definitely woodworking, but I've had to work on a few cars before. Yeah, so I've always heard, and my dad always told me when I was a kid, that you take a penny and you turn Abe Lincoln upside down, and you put Abe Lincoln into the tread of your tires, and if it covers his head a little bit, then your tires are still good. But if you can see the top of Abe, Abe Lincoln's head, it's time for new tires. I think it does, you know, I think cars that you drive off-road a lot, like if you're in the mud and the snow quite a bit, you definitely want some deeper tread on there. But if you're just on the highway and like you live in a warm climate like San Diego or Florida or something, you definitely don't need really thick tread on your tires. My ride's very different. So I decided to ask the same people what they think. When should I change my tires? Okay. All right. Can we ask you something about my car? Go okay. For it. That's it. That's it. You like it? Uh, I do. How are the? How's the tread? Yeah, it's not bad. So, when do you think I should change mine? Um, a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a couple years ago. Hopefully, this helped you decide when to change your tires. This was ever with the weather. Back to you, Claire. Be sure to tune in next week for more EV